Good morning students, laptops closed please. Today we will continue our 300 word essay on the benefits of the Māori or the Pākehā. You know what to do, let's get started. is such a good idea, but seriously, where are we going to start? Yeah, I reckon we need an independent zone. Definitely for the times we need to concentrate. And what about like a collaborative zone for when we work as a whole class? Yeah, but then we still sort of need spaces for like smaller groups and stuff. Yeah, like you can't just have one big space, you need to, there'll be twos and threes, like the smaller desks and stuff. So we're going to need three different zones. Yep. Yeah, independent zone for when we need to concentrate, semi-collaborative. For women working small groups or twos and threes yeah. and collaborative for women workers the whole class? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. 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 So we've decided we're going to have these zones, but how are we going to define where they are? Hey, we could use this colour scheme. Yeah, but we can't paint any walls or replace any carpet or anything, really. Mm -hmm. It's a bit dumb. Hey, I know. Put coloured paper on the roof. That's a good yeah. idea. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Very good idea. Okay, well let's go. Let's get started. You tutor yeah. budget, you can help me. You two girls do a search online for furniture and stuff. Okay. Class is a good one. Yeah. And you, you can go to SketchUp, so do you want to make it like a plan? Like a, yeah. just to sort of put yeah. everything okay. where it needs to go? Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Alright, do you have Hey, look at this plant. Oh, that's that cool. awesome. That, that is, is so rooms, cool. cool. But what is all the stuff? Um, that's like Orphanons round by the whiteboard and then um, like a high bar land with stools around yeah. it. And then that's like a whiteboard table. It's quite low so you have like bean bags and stuff around it. And then that's where you can just like so, you know, like, like a semi collaborative. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that's cool. So there's like focused around the edge, like blue zone, independent, yeah. stuff like that, with the cocoon. And then in the middle is like semi collaborative, green. Yeah, right? Yeah. Independent so zones. Outside is focused, mm. middle, semi collaborative, and then the end of the classroom teaches it's collaborative. Just collaborative. Yeah. That's cool. yeah, that's 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 a whiteboard, yeah. yeah, that's a whiteboard. Yeah, that's a whiteboard. zones on the ceiling are used to divide the different classroom zones. The yellow represents the collaborative shared area, green is semi-collaborative and blue is the independent learning zone. 
These Ottomans make up our shared collaborative zone. They are used for shared student and teacher discussion. They are designed to be shifted around and are very versatile. We're sure the students will benefit from this. The Lena table is part of our semi-collaborative zone and is used for students working in small groups. Its height enables students to quickly group and share information and then resume their work. The whiteboard table and bean bags are also part of our semi-collaborative zone. It is used for students to work in small groups while sitting down. They are able to write the ideas down on the table and interact with each other. The divided desks are part of our independent learning zone. They are used for focused learning and work. The cocoon is an important part of our independent zone. Students enjoy reading or working independently while having a totally new learning experience. We know it will be used and appreciated by many students to enhance their learning. Thanks, yeah, that's miss. awesome. Thanks, Miss. You work somewhere so comfy. Yeah, that cocoon's comfy. Thanks, Miss. 